Roger, stop wedging yourself, or preventing to wedge yourself, or whatever. Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Space Quest V. In the last episode, we unleashed the space monkeys. We unleashed all of the monkeys. The monkeys. Anyway, we have to go and rescue Cliffy, because uh, these monkeys are going to start doing some damage. Also, is the... Have we gone down a little bit from the speed? I think we have a little bit, haven't we? Oh, wait, that looks better. So, I'm outside the airlock on the EVA, and I hear the phone ring. i got to climb in, uh, cycle the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, and run to the phone. I hate that. Turns out, it's one of the, these new phone companies wanting me to switch galactic long-distance carriers. He's talking about all these big savings I can get if I just switch from Sprint to TT and A's. Friends and aliens plan. Can you believe it? What'd you tell them? I said, no way, it just isn't worth it. Oh. Alert, alert, alert. Come on, let's go see what it is. Maybe we'll, go, we'll get to beat someone up. But they don't go for Roger. That's convenient. Anyway, let's have a look about. Uh, all right, that hurt a bit. If I can use the cons the console here. There you go. Does that turn off the force field? Oh yeah, it does. Roger, you are good again. Let's have a look about. There he is. Hello, Cliffy. Don't worry, I have something to sort the problem out. Go, Spike. Do your business! Seriously, that is the music I should have whenever I walk down the road. I should. Go on, Spike! Do the job! Save Cliffy! Yes! Oh, he still has a cigar in his mouth. I guess a little beast is good for something after all, sir. Right now, quick, Cliffy! We gotta get bloody moving! Run! D okay, Roger's gonna jog instead. He's jog- That's literally, like, that may be even a power walk. A very quick power walk, but... Yes, everyone's getting out of here, if you know. Have you seen all the space monkeys? They're everywhere! Cliffy, come on, there's a matter of urgency here! There's a- There's a matter of urgency. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying! No, you're not! You could've jumped on that side- Damn it, Cliffy, are you just as slow as shit or what? Let's get out of here quickly. Oh, uh, everyone is just leaving. What's gonna happen to it? Well, it's going to blow up, of course, because space monkeys. Oh, the monkeys look alright. The monkeys can breathe in space. That's a good thing, at least. Go, space monkeys! You're able to save one of our friends. I guess. Oh. Maybe they're dead. <laughs> oh, we've got a windscreen wiper on this thing. Now oh, for gold sakes. Get off, space monkeys. I'm not your father anymore. You're now free to... Free to roam the, uh, the, the space as being nothing but debris. I'm receiving a coded transmission from Starcon, sir. We are ordered to proceed to Clorox 2 for an auxiliary garbage retrieval mission, sir. Yes, are we indeed? Well, drool! I would like for you to lay a course, good sir. Our coordinates... Oh, I'll just write them down. Nine, zero... Two, one, zero. Get moving, drool! Bloody Zoidberg. Go! Now cross that bit off. Good. All right, coordinates locked in. I literally have like nearly an entire like I've actually got like an A4 bit of paper, and I've got and I've used both sides of it. So yeah, I'm helping the environment. That's the piece of paper right there. Uh, anyway, 
We're nearly up to the end of the first page. Yes. Um, I'm going to change the... Yeah, the speed's gone down. Screw that. Pop the speed back up again. Damn it, game. Why'd you change where the speed is? Ah, so we're back here again. We are, uh... We're still alive! Amazing! We're approaching our destination. Indeed, drool. Well, I believe we need to go at regular speed now. There we go. Yay. And we stop. There we go. Yay. That's strange. I'm not tracking a waste beacon. Maybe we should investigate. I can put us into orbit to take a closer look, Captain. Okay, let's do that then, shall we, Drool? Standard orbit it is! <laughs> Standard orbit, eh? Then eight. Let's see what we've got here! Hmm. What else can we do? Let's hail the ship. Hailing, sir. The SCS Goliath is responding, sir. Putting it on screen. Oh, it's Quirk. This better be important, Wilco. Starcon dispatched us to Clorox 2 for a garbage pickup, but no trash pod was there when we arrived. The settlement has not responded to our hails either. You're using a priority comm circuit to tell me this? I'm in the middle of a shuttle recovery. Sir, I thought it might be important. Don't think, Wilco. You're not paid to think. Just to pick up trash. Now get off the circuit, you bumbling dweeb. But what about the colony? I've got more important things to worry about. It's probably just a fluky comm dish or something. Beam down and check it out if you're so concerned. Now get off this channel, or the only thing you'll be piloting is a fertilizer transport out of Uranus, Wilco. I get it. Poop jokes. I see Quirk is his usual charming self. It's nice that he hasn't lost his flair or diplomacy, especially after I beat him in that bloody game. Yeah. Alright. Um, do we have to hail Stark on? Hail Stark on, let's give it a go. Yeah. You've reached the... Oh. <laughs> you reached Stark on Central Command. All our wavelengths are busy right now, but if you stay on frequency, an operator will answer your call in the order it was received. Currently, you are number 2,856,875,333. I don't think we'll bother with that. I think we'll just leave the chair that someone has put a whoopee cushion on. Probably Cliffy. Wouldn't put it past him to do that. Oh, hello, Drew. This looks a little serious. I better go down with you. Meet you in the transporter room, Captain. Drew's voice keeps changing. I don't like that. I don't know what voice to give him. It's just going to keep alternating throughout the entire Let's Play. Why not? Flo's going to have the same voice, because it's just, you know, the, the uh, Paddy and Selma voice from The Simpsons, so screw it. Right. So, what are we going to do? Cliffy's kicking stuff again. Standard. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, Roger. Let's get moving. We have stuff to do. Ah, got WD-40 working. Great. Right, first thing I'm going to want to do, Spike's done his work for the moment, so let's pop Spike back. Uh, and then, yep, yeah, pop Spike in here. There you go, Spike. Until next time, good sir. Uh, can I close that? Yes, I can. There we go. All right. Uh, you have to be on the pad to do that. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm going. On, I'm going on the pad. Damn it. All right now. Let's go and see what happens. We got draw with us, so we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Hopefully. 
Oh. This looks lovely. This may be dangerous, Captain. Let's split up so we can cover more territory. Yes, because when anything comes to... T yeah, Roger. Don't you think we should stick together? Only if you make a quick wardrobe change, sir. Now isn't the time to play fashion critic drool. It's just that your shirt is so well red, sir. It's bad luck. Your skin is red! Now in this game, Roger's gonna mention it at some point. And tumbleweed. Oh, joy. Alright, well. There's stuff we need to do, like explore this planet. God, if, that sky, if I saw that sky in real life, I'd, I'd just be in, in awe of it. That would look pretty cool. Especially if it's all like, I'm guessing either it's moon or it's sun being so bloody close. Hmm. Alright, let's go into this tent, shall we? This weird tent looking thing. Oh. Hello. It's just me, Roger Wilco. Alright, let's save here. Because this is where it can get potentially messy. And trust me, when I say messy, I mean actual mess. Let's go LP7. Right. Let's have a look and we'll see what we got here. Oh! Ow! He smacked me in the face! You bugger! Well, well, aren't you an ugly one? Yeah, it looks like it. Ugh. I was once ugly like you, but look at me now! Oh, sorry, it's, 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 it's his. I thought it was Roger. Now try and dodge my death loogies, monkey boy! Hawk! You know, a little <laughs> hemorrhoidal ointment will clear that rash on your face. Right up. Now get off me! Yay, avoided! Avoided! Just avoid everything! Nope! That's what happens if you get hit. Nice reflexes. Try ducking next time. Yeah. You get turned into this thing. And you don't want to get turned to that thing. Right. So yeah. That's what I meant by being potentially messy. His loogies hurt. His loogies hurt lots. Anyway. Let's get back to it. Ooh, a piece of... I just saw a piece of paper drop down there. That's cool. Yes, we know all this. Avoided! Ha-ha! Avoided! Ha! Avoided! Avoided! Hopefully. Yes, I did. And again! You're missing! Oh! He got shot! Have that! Guess who shot him? Drool, of course, shot him! Nice job, Drool! Nice shooting text! I thought it was dog meat for sure. Hey, he's a real looker. I'd better scout around and see if there's any more of those creatures I can blow away. I'll meet you back on the ship. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Drool. You saved my ass. He's undergoing some kind of metamorphosis. God, that's ugly. That's not so ugly. Uh, thank you, at last I'm free. What happened here? Entire colony mutated. Bad soup, secret path over the ridge. Uh, what a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> He's not happy about it. He's like, uh, uh, you'll never know, will you? For God's sake, Roger. Anyway, let's pick up this piece of paper that was uh, randomly dropped by what was the thing. Alright, so now... Let's have a look at this, shall we? Ah, oh, there's Nexus code. Okay, well what we can do is we can look at the piece of paper. Uh, look at the paper. Ah, so we have a code! 
the battered scrap appears to have some writing on it. 80869. Very well. Let's try some of that. Yes! Personal log. Clorox 2. Colony Administrator. Harry Kerry. Harry Kerry. I get it. Harry Kerry. Ha! <laughs> oh, do you know what? Sometimes they actually come up with sort of like references or jokes that most people won't get. There's probably some that I've missed even. Stardate? 301268. Or 301268. That probably sounds better. Something very strange has been going on here in the colony since the Goliath's last visit. A small survey team uh, is a week overdue and there has been reports of strange creatures roaming the Badlands. No doubt it's been a bit of cabin fever. But the more imaginative types... But I'm worried by the disappearance of the survey team. Personal log. Start 8, 30, 15, 68. I'm becoming more and more alarmed. The search party dispatched to learn the fate of the survey team hasn't reported back for more than 50 hours. Fear spurred on by more wild rumours about the creatures has the colony on the verge of panic. Stardate 3016 68. God help us! A band of hideous mutant creatures attacked the colony last night. Very few of us escaped the massacre, and I've been wounded slightly. There is no doubt that these creatures are intelligent and even appear to have a rudimentary understanding of technology. They have captured the shuttle pad, cutting off our only means of escape using my personal passcodes. I have sealed the colony so that the creatures will no longer be able to get into any of the undamaged structures. Stardate 301768. I'm in agony. The wound I received burns like fire. An hour ago, the mutant creatures blasted off in the colony shuttle. As they climbed the boarding ship, I got my first good look at a creature in daylight. It was hideous. The tattered rags he wore were the remnants of the survey team's survival suit. I have a terrible suspicion about the fate of the colonists. I am now utterly alone on this planet. Dying, I hope, end. Well, that's that. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Um... So, I believe that's everything we need to do here. We're literally just going to leave that guy. Screw that guy. He tried to kill us. I know he may have been part of some sort of, like, mutated blob, but screw it. He's killing me. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go back up. Uh, Roger. Yep, Roger, go back. Go back, Roger, go back. A lot of stuff here. Let's have a look, actually, what we got here. Abandoned mining tools and machinery are strewn carelessly about, as if the owner's left in a hurry. Yes, indeed. Alright, well, there's some interesting stuff around here, I'll certainly say that much. I mean, this is a little bit the nicest place to live. I'm gonna say that much. Apart from the sky, that looks pretty nice, but, you know, apart from that. Alright, let's, let's have a look around, shall we? Still stuff we need to sort out, like, why, why is most of the colony dead? I don't know. Uh, Roger, can you go, can you go that way? No, you can't, of course not. Eh, yeah, Roger. Alright. Getting very close to 20 minutes. Maybe I should just leave the video off here, I think. Um, maybe, maybe, we'll see. I mean, this shouldn't really take too long. As long as Roger actually does what I bloody want him to. There we go. That's what he's supposed to bloody do. Oh. The canister bears the phrase Primordial Soup. And the logo of the Genetics Research Corporation. A small label near the bottom bears an ominous description. Inscription. Biohazard. Terror to... Teratogenetic substance. Do not expose to direct sunlight, air, or water. Do not ingest, inhale, or allow contact with the exposed skin. Another fine product of Genetics Research Corp. 41666, Sector 6, uh, C, G, whatever. Can I take it? I'm wondering, that, that might kill me. 
So I'm going to say, also, Roger looks like he is high right now in that picture. Oh, well, right, let's save here. Alright, can I take it? Yeah, it could be hazardous to your health. Okay, let's not take it. Let's instead use our communicator! Uh, communicator. Let's use the communicator. I want to use the communicator, damn it. Apparently not. I would like to use the communicator, please. Communicate! God, that's one of my problems with this game is that you gotta find specific areas for things like communicators. When really you shouldn't. Even this is the right way. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna do for a break here, but the next episode of Let's Play Space Quest V, we will learn how to use a communicator properly. I'll see you then.